The day is finally here. I finally have a VR headset. I opted for the Quest 2 because I couldn't resist the new $200 price. Makes this so much more affordable for my first VR headset. I have the 128 gig version. I have here the active pack. I wanted to be able to use the straps that will hold on. And I also got the link cable because this will definitely be a PC VR type of experience. I did also get a carrying case. This thing was just 20 bucks or whatever it was on sale. Like I had to get it. So, and also want to put this Half-Life sticker on my headset, I believe. Yeah. So that'll be kind of cool. So we got to get into unboxing this thing, man. I'm, I've been waiting all day and this energy is about to explode out of me. Looks like it opens from the side. Oh, you know what? I may not even need a knife. Wait, hold on. But it says, oh wait, no, it says pull. I do think I need the knife. Break the seal here. That's one side, got that. Okay, here we go. Now the whole wrapping goes away. Throw that away. Where'd the pull tab go? Hello. Oh, the pull tab's gone. Bye. I think I'm just gonna do this number. Aha, there we go. Yes. MetaQuest 2. Look inside. Ooh, look at this. Controllers first. This feels weird to hold a controller like I'm actually holding a VR controller. Here's the other one. <laughs> wow, these are smaller than I thought they were, which I'm glad. This is cool, man. Here is the headset itself. Oh yeah, there's a glasses space in here. I will definitely need a glasses spacer. There is a charging cable in there. And this must be, oh, this is the face shield or something. Quest 2 silicone cover. Okay, now you're not supposed to touch the lenses, but you can move the lenses in there. No sunlight on lenses, no liquid. So there you go, that, that is the inside. There's a protection piece of paper around here, and here it is. It is the protective film thing. Bye-bye. You know what, this also, I'll just say this, as I'm thinking of this, this is not as heavy as what I thought it was gonna be. This is actually pretty light. Now, it's not on my face yet, but still, I'm happy about that, because I was worried. Inside here is gonna be the charging piece. Here we are. Whoops. <laughs> oh, oh, how, 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 how well is this charged? I hope I don't have to, I'll eat dinner if that's what happens. Yeah, so it's giving me some directions right there, telling me what to do. It's telling me to pull on something on these. There's this little sticker right here. I guess I'm supposed to pull that off. Makes me wonder if there's a sensor in there. It's telling me to pull these out for some reason. What comes out? Confetti? Oh, uh, I bet you inside there, there's batteries have just now engaged. Pull that. Just a little plastic piece of tab. There is the battery. So now we're gonna open up the active pack. This is like a super foamy, but this, if you sweat, you're good. You can wipe it down. Oh, they even give you extra doors, battery doors. It's all attached, so you have to use them. So this peg goes in here. That's a little button that pushes. It just slides like a TV remote. Cool, sweet. Here we go, so see, I can, yeah! To insert the glasses spacer, gently remove the facial interface foam. Oh, okay, you just pull it. Oh, there's one, there's a click. Yep, there's a click, there's a click. Pull off these uh, these lens covers right here. Okay, cool, I can put it on now. <gasps> I'm about to experience VR for the first time. I'm kind of scared, in a good way. <laughs> it's all black right now, by the way, guys, so I'm not seeing nothing yet. I'm just trying to make sure I get this there we go. Okay, yeah, so I'll cover this over like that. I don't know what this looks like. I hope I don't look like a doofus on the outside. This mustache situation. Here we go, let's come on. Nothing, nothing yet. Please don't tell me it's dead. Okay, so nothing happened. Completely dead, which I understand. That's probably gonna happen. This cable is my only hope. This cable feels good. It better be for $80. I know, y'all, there are cables out there I could have probably bought that were cheaper. I just like, I'm just gonna get the official and then I know it's good. Plug it in. All right, here we go. So here, here, here is this. I guess we might as well go ahead and unbox this carrying case right here. Here you go. Uh, oh crap, oh, it's the zipper. Don't just pull on it, Brandon. That ain't working stuff like that. This is, yeah, yeah that, that was a nice zip. There you go. It's a hard case. Whoa. Yeah. I think I will go ahead and install Steam VR and I need the Oculus app. You probably just go ahead and just plug it, this thing in. I don't know if it's power delivery compatible, but maybe it will deliver enough power to where this thing could be turned on. <gasps> oh, I'm starting to see things. Oh, it just, oh, it's just a blinking battery. It says, charge me. I guess we'll see you back when this thing is charged.
Okay, so I've been letting this charge for about an hour. The battery says 40% in there. Oh, here it comes. Oculus symbol. Now, oh my gosh, now it feels 3D. Okay, exactly what I was thinking. Whoa, my it's right there. <laughs> it's okay, it's like a 3D movie for real, but even more realistic. Dude, the controller's right there. It's like freaking right here. It's like I can just grab it. I mean, it's here in real life, but they're doing what they're doing in real life. Like every angle that's happening, it I, they're just floating controllers. English, adjust the headset on your face until you can see the screen clearly. That's what I'm trying to do. I can see what they were talking about, the screen door effect. Eh, they're so slightly, you can see some pixels. So before it started you with like a completely white background with like a couple of windows, you didn't have that depth. But now see, I have a window right here. Behind the window, there's these little floaty bubble balls. Oh, if you look up, you see it there too. Okay, yeah, so you can perceive depth now because they're easing you into this. If I could, I could reach out and grab the edges of, of this screen. What'd you think of my Half-Life decal? I just now remembered that I put it on there. Set a guardian boundary, yes. So basically, if you go beyond that boundary, it will alert you somehow. Can we go? I acknowledge. It is updating to the latest software. Cool. Oh. Man, my face is VR'd. Part of me almost wonders if I should be charging this device. Maybe it's charging while it's plugged up. That would be really cool. Pair your headset with the MetaQuest app to continue. Yeah, you can see, uh, I think I'm connected now. Okay, so select a connection method, link cable. Yes, this is what we want. <laughs> this is so cool, I'm like, I'm pointing my wand. Oh, whoa, whoa. It's got like a shadow of my hand, even though that's not really my hand, it's like a, a cartoon of where it thinks my hand is. So it's telling me to create my boundary, my safety boundary. Where is the, oh, whoa, okay, right. Whoa, okay, oh goodness, oh, sweet boys. Okay, now I got pass-through, which is a low-res, black and white looking thing, or I can see the real world. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine the Quest 3 though, that has full color pass-through? I can't even imagine. Confirm floor level. If grid is lined up with the floor, it is. They press confirm. Okay. Switch to stationary boundary because that's where I am, please. And there's a blue circle, bluish purplish circle around me. Device setup complete. Enable quest link. This is what I've been asking for this whole time. Blee, blee, blah. Wow, this is cool. As far as the eye can see, this is so cool. I wish this was real. It's like a tile floor, but it's a beautiful, it's the most cleanest bathroom tile floor you've ever seen because it's basically, it's perfect, it's, it's a grid. Okay, it's a grid. Go to desktop. Oh, whoa, there's my desktop. Oh my, okay, desktop, desktop. So you can see, I think it is charging while connected to the computer. So that's actually pretty cool. So after like over an hour of finagling with the settings, we can experience this together. Cause I, I saw this room and I'm like, I don't want to look at this room yet until we get there. So, wow. Okay. So we've got the portal block over there and a couple other things that I don't know about. Oh, there's my grid. I don't know if you see that. Whoops. Oh crap. Just something happened. Oh, okay, I just, I just teleported. I didn't want to do that, but okay. Whoa, what are those? Oh, whoa, hold on. What am I, what do I have? What is this? Is, uh, this is a spray paint thing? Spray paint? Oh, it's gone now. But I want to get back over there, though. Oh, whoa. Well, okay, what am I doing? Okay, let's see. Uh, crap. Oh, smidgy busy. Oh, okay. So what, am I, am I pushing that? Can I just walk? You can teleport. What the crap? This is cool. Okay, I can move things by using the joystick. Moving around. Or I can just turn. I can just look around. The butterflies. Oh, my brain was like, oh, it flinched. But, but that's... Where'd he go? Wow. It's not the sharpest thing in the world, but I guess... Maybe that's what makes the Quest 3 so good. But I can still see depth perception though. It's like, I, it's actually I'm like I'm here. You've got the concrete here, the bench right there. And then of course the mountain's way out there. It's like I could walk out there potentially. Oh, okay, whoa, I'm, I'm using this trigger. Can I punch stuff? Oh, whoa, you can select a, oh wow. What am I doing? How am I doing that? Am I just using the forward buttons? Oh, what can you, you can't go out there. No, it's, yeah, you saying you can't go that way. Oh, I keep forgetting. Whoa, no cash nearby. Whoa, what was that crapping? What in the world? Where am I now? Am I in space? I just switched places. What in the world? Dude, this is like, <laughs> man, I don't want to leave here. This is cool. I don't know what I did. 
So can you see these controls now? Yes, you can see it. Okay. That's what I was seeing at the very beginning, at the very beginning of the setup. You know what's wicked? It's moving without me seeing my finger on it. That's so creepy. Because it knows exactly, I can see, it's moving. It's moving with me. Whoops, crap, I hit this hamburger menu. Okay, well this is cool. I, I could launch Half-Life Alex right now, right here, but we're not ready yet. I, I need to understand things first. VR settings, let's see what's in here. Oh, background, you can change the background? <gasps> wow, okay, cool. This looks peaceful too. Let's see what that is. <gasps> Ooh, I like that better. Oh, whoa, dude, there's a moon up there. And the stars, I just, wow. Too bad they're a little pixelated, but it's not a super high resolution view they're giving you. Okay, I don't know what I did. This is what I was trying to get to. I need to learn the tutorial so I know what's going on. And it says press the B or Y button. Welcome to Steam VR. You can visit the real imaginary. We don't know if we want to though. Can I get this out of the way or is this here forever? You set us home. Save this environment. Yes. Cool, sweet, all right, we're in the environment. I can I can look at stuff now. Ooh, hey, oh my goodness, that giraffe and these books it, and the thing sitting there, whatever it is, it's, it's 3D for real. And the globe, it's moving. Oh my goodness, look at that. These are two environments that are available from Half-Life Alex. We probably don't wanna see that because we're gonna want spoilers. Oh, whoa, whoa, is the information right there? Garden presets, ooh. <gasps> I can add. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I like this thing. Oh, that's neat. I like that. Uh, oh, I could touch it. I feel like I could touch it, man. Here's another thing. Room presets. Okay, a bench is right there right now. I can put a couch. Oh, that's neat. Or a bed. Oh, man. You know what's crazy? My body is tired and it says you should go sleep. Like my brain thinks, okay, go to sleep. Or I can put a computer. That's probably what we really should do. <gasps> Yes. I could do without the telephone, but that's actually pretty cool. I got this strap on too loud. Too loud. Too tight. Why is it so high? Oh, what am I saying? I can literally stand up. Oh, man. Now it's actually like I'm actually... Let's go over here and look at these things. I'm especially intrigued by the block from portal that's really cool the cube what's crazy is this actually like this works okay so i'm gonna be uh a little brave now and i'm actually going to draw like a guardian around where i am i i'm got pass through enabled i actually want to stand up and things confirm floor level let's see Yep, floor level is correct. I wish you could see this part, but you can't see it. Basically, I'm just gonna draw an outline of my safe area, of where I can be. So you can't see my guardian. It's just a grid that pops up. You are out of your guardian circle. So now I can move it. Oh, I'm picking it up and looking at it. Oh my goodness. I'm putting it back up on the shelf now. The teeth, man, and everything. It's like I can see inside. That's cool. <gasps> it rocked. It rocked like a real one would. I could stand on my tiptoes and see it. If I go back outside now, now that, I, now that I'm up a little higher and not just sitting down. Dude, oh my goodness. My flipping goodness, man. This is, this is crazy. I'm actually uh, accepting that I'm here. I could just stay here for almost ever. Just to remind myself that I need to go to bed. We're gonna put the bed in here. Oh man, that looks so soft. I just realized we have a sunroof. Yeah, nobody's online. They're probably in bed where I should be too. Is that what the time is, y'all? Is it actually 1230? Yep, that's the real time in real life. Hello. Well, I officially have VR face. <laughs> I think that's enough for one night. But if you want to see me play actual games, click here to get started. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. And I'm going to bed.